Hello, I'm Curran, and this video is all about how you can take a data set and prepare it for visualization and then upload it into this platform, DataViz Tech, a collaborative data visualization platform. So I came across this really neat post creating a choropleth map of the world in Python using GeoPandas. And so this is, it creates this map using pandas in Python. But what I thought was interesting was the data source here. At the top of this article, there's a link to the data set, individuals using the internet as a percentage of the population. So if we click this link, we arrive at this page about this data set from the World Bank. Our goal here is to take this data set, download it, clean it up a little bit, and then upload it into DataViz Tech. So our next step is to download as a CSV file, comma separated value. What we get here is this zip file, and the content of the data is in this file here. So I'm going to extract it to my downloads directory, and then click on show the files. And then I'll open up this CSV file in uh, LibreOffice, which is like Excel on Linux. I opened it up in this program just to check its format and make sure there aren't any um, unnecessary things in the data. And if there are, we can clean them up. The first thing I notice is that there are four extra rows here, which I'm going to delete. Also, this column indicator name, it just has the same value over and over and over again. So I'm going to delete this column. If I did not delete this, then it would just take up space unnecessarily in our CSV file. With indicator code, it's the same thing. It's just the same for all rows. So I'll delete that one too. All right, so we've got countries going down and we've got years going to the right, and each cell has a value. But look at 2017. There are not any values for 2017, so this might sort of mess up our code later on. So I'm going to delete this column too. All right, so we've done all the data cleanup we need to do. Next, let's export this as a CSV file and then import it into DataViz Tech. Next, to export as CSV, I'm going to click on File, and then Save As. And I think I'll call it cleaneddata.csv. Then I'll click Save. Yes, I want to use CSV format. Then if we take a look at our Downloads folder, there it is as cleaneddata.csv, 73 kilobytes. Now we're ready to upload this data set into DataViz Tech, or make a new data set so that we can visualize it later. After navigating to DataViz.Tech, I'm going to click Sign In, which will authenticate via GitHub. Then I'll be redirected to my profile page here. From here, I'll click on Create Data Set. A data set in DataViz Tech is a text-based representation of data, most commonly a CSV file. When a data set is referenced in a visualization, it can be loaded into the visualization as though it were a local file. For the title here, I'm going to use the original title of the data set. Next, I'll click on Create. I want to make sure we don't lose track of where this came from, so the first thing I'll do is add a little description. I'll describe it as percentage of population using the internet by country and year. And then I'll say this data set was originally downloaded from the World Bank individuals using the internet. And here we can use markdown to format this hyperlink. So I'll copy this URL here and then paste it here. So we link to this in the description. Now that we've got a title and a description, we can just drag and drop this thing into DataViz Tech. See, here's our downloads folder, and we can just drag 
cleaned data into the content field for our data set. And it looks like there's an extra new line at the end, so I'll just delete that right here in the editor. And if we take a look at the top of the file, everything looks good. We've got country name, country code, and then all the years. Now if we click this View button on the top, we can see what the public view of this data set looks like, which has the title up here, who created this data set, the description, and how many views this has. If I wanted to go back and say edit the description, I could click on this edit button here. And if I wanted to find this again, I could go to my profile page and see it appears here, individuals using the internet. And by the way, the first line of the description comes through here in the listing. Then I could click on that link to get back to this data set page. If I wanted to share this, say on Twitter, I could copy this URL here. Then I could compose a new tweet and say, new data set ready to be visualized, individuals using the internet by country and year, and then boom, paste that link right there. Now anyone who sees this tweet can click this link and then arrive at this data set page. Note that the view count actually updates in real time as people are viewing it. All right, that's how you can find a public data set, clean it up, upload it into DataViz Tech. Uh, now it's ready to be visualized, which we'll do in another video. Thanks for watching. Take care.